Welcome back, welcome back. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel, checking the video out. Uh, it's been a long time since I've vlogged about anything that I have going on. This vlog is not just about me. This vlog is about this badass motherfucking Lotus I just picked up here. A lot of you already know, um, I posted pictures up, little videos here and there on my stories and Instagram. I pretty much picked up a Lotus, guys. So, backstory for the Lotus, how I found it. Shout out to my boy Pete, he has a red, supercharged k24 lotus he's the one that found me the deal i told my boy i was like yo man i got the urge to get a to get a lotus again and it just so happened that he knew somebody that was selling a shell and he told me he's like yo ty i got a guy down in south jersey he's trying to get rid of his lotus i drove down there it was about an hour and 40 minutes from my crib went there and bro we walked to the backyard this shit this shit was in like a barn like like this old ass garage right we walk in the floor is falling apart i'm about to fall but uh, nah, we, we, we walked through the, the garage. I looked at the car, it was dusty, bro. You see raccoon footprints all over the car. I'm like, damn, this car has been abandoned. It's like thick ass dust on there. Inside the car smells like cat piss. Shit was falling apart. The rear ball joint was off, so the, the wheel was all cocked sideways. I'm like, oh my God. You know, I looked at it in the excitement of everything. I didn't really care how the car looked. I was like, yo, I want this car. So eventually I told him right there, I was like, yo, I want the car, man. We work out a deal. Um, he was gonna case swap the car, bought all the parts, like such as like the axles, the engine mounts. I told him, I'm like, yo, just sell me everything. You know what I mean? It'll, it'll save me time for looking for the parts since he's already got it. Cause I know axles and mounts, some of that stuff might be uh, might be bought to order. So it's not there. Once you buy it, you have to actually place the order and then they'll make it for you. The reason why it took me so long to find a Lotus was because they're very hard to find. And I was specifically looking for a Lotus shell. And those things come maybe once every two, three years. I'm not even lying, man. Cap. Man, like, it's hard to find a Lotus with a blown motor. And uh, it just so happened this guy blew the motor and he was gonna go K-Series, but you know, he had gotten to some issues or whatever. And then I was able to buy the car. If you go online and look for a Lotus Elise or Exige, they're hard to find without an engine. Once that opportunity popped up, I was like, yo, take my money. Because I knew if I didn't buy this car, the way it was, it would take me another three, four years to find one, man. Cap. I wasn't about to buy a stock Lotus with a perfectly running engine and take it apart just to throw a K-Series in it. So this was the best time to buy it, and that's what I did, so. This is a 2005 Lotus Elise. And uh, let me show you around the car. So this is all fiberglass. It came with a carbon roof. This comes off. This is all fiberglass. Um, let me show you the back. I literally bought a shell, guys. Like, it has no motor in it. So I got a fresh start. Let me turn the brightness up for y'all. Yep. Of course, it's, I'm gonna I'm throw a K-Series in here. K24 stock block, head package with uh, Supertech Springs retainers, stock valves, drag cartel 3.2s. I, I picked that setup because, you know, it's been proven over the years, probably a decade, you know, the type of power it makes, you know, um, on pump 93, I'm looking to make between 275, 285, 290. Cap. And then on top of it, I'm gonna throw a Jackson Racing Supercharger on it. No intercooler. I'm gonna throw that in here and hopefully I can push 350, 375. I'll be, I'll be happy with 350. Cap. You know, 350, mid-engine, 2,000 pound car. But yeah, that's the swap. I'm also gonna do fuel tech. I gotta have that installed. Only problem is I can't do all this at my house, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably take this car to my boy's house, my boy Abru built, and he's pretty much gonna do everything for me. Uh, I can't do everything because I'm not super inclined. I can do a little here and there, but hopefully, you know, I can come there and help him put the swap in and everything, you know. Suspension-wise, I was lucky enough uh, to buy the car with coilovers already on it. It has a BC Racing coilovers. It came with an AR APR carbon wing these broke off i had to order some new ones the uh apr wing uh what do they call end plates diff flow rear diffuser i don't know how i feel about it yet man it kind of i don't know i might keep it on there but let's see it came with some aluminum side skirts i'm probably gonna bring it out just a little bit maybe two to three two inches out so it comes out a little bit more make it look more aggressive i'm gonna lower the car about two inches um i ordered a front lip I'm at the front lip. It's actually gonna be like a two-step lip, so I'm gonna order. I'm gonna order like 
the lip that goes on naturally and then the APR splitter that sits underneath the car. And I'm gonna bring that out and it's gonna make it look even. I'm gonna try to get a, a picture for you guys to reference. But yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna see what, how, how I want it to look. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. As far as the car, it's, it's really not that much. I gotta order a new gas door or gas door cover. I'm probably gonna get like some TEs or some C28s or Z40s. We're gonna go in. Try to get you getting in here. Oh, hell no. <laughs> These the stock seats? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, oh, oh you God. slid right in, Mike. Nah. <laughs> nah. I mean, once you wait here, do we go back? No, I get open the door. Turns camera around. So y'all see. Oh my god. You pretty much just gotta slide and throw your body in here. Close the door. Woo! Just like that. So you see, once you get in. It doesn't really feel that bad. You're pretty much just laying down, you know what I mean? But it gets comfortable. Once you're in the car, it doesn't feel that bad. You got enough leg space. I mean, I'm 5'9". You can still slide the seat back. So you could, you could be 6'2", six, 6'3", six, and it'll be comfortable while you're in the car. When you get in the car, you're comfortable, you're good. Comes with a quick release steering wheel. This helps a lot when you want to get out the car. I'm probably going to remove this climate unit because I'm not going to have AC lines or anything. So I'm going to take that out. That's how you get out. Okay, guys, hold on. So without the steering wheel on, it's a lot easier to get out. <coughs> Look at that. No struggle. No steering wheel for the win. So if you're a Lotus owner or you're looking to get a Lotus, yes. Get a quick release steering wheel. It will save you time and it won't be uncomfortable. You get right out. I think it's a perfect time to show you guys what's going in the car. All right. So give me one second. Let me um, let me put lay it all out on the floor. Just give me one second. Give me one second. All right, boys, as promised, I laid everything out on the floor, on the table, so you can see what's gonna go in the car. I'm probably have 90% of the stuff that's gonna go in the car, but for the most part, it's all here. Let me show you. I'm going with a K24A2. This is a bone stock motor right now. Jackson Race Supercharger. It came with a four inch pulley, but I down, I upgraded, downgraded, upgraded. I got a smaller pulley, this is a 3.4 inch pulley. I'm being safe with this. 3.4 but if I do run an after cooler or inner cooler I can get an even smaller pulley like a 3.2 or 3.0 and uh, you know you make more power so yeah so I'm running a Jackson Ray supercharger I'm gonna take this stock throttle body off and put a K21 on it's gonna have uh, super tech springs retainers so these are the springs retainers seats valve seals um, Drag Hotel 3.2, shout out to my boy Juancito at Next Era. They've proven themselves over time after time. That's why I went out and bought it again. Tranny wise, I'm running a, a twin disc. It's a competition twin disc. Um, shout out to my boy Bobby. Uh, hybrid conversion harness for the dash and stuff. I don't know how it's gonna work, but hopefully my boys can help me get that to work. K-tuned fuel rail, K-tuned fuel pressure regulator. 2200 cc injectors and then probably the brains of the car the fuel tech ft550 uh came with a custom uh wire harness for the 550 from rye wire so this right here is for uh, a eg chassis so i'm gonna have my boy tom he's gonna take the harness i, I guess we're gonna install it and then we're gonna extend every wire three four feet so we can accommodate for the uh for the wire harness being short make it three, four feet longer so it can reach all the sensors and everything, all the inputs and outputs on the engine and whatnot. So that's what we're gonna do with the engine harness. But this engine harness isn't for my car. I bought it because the dude gave me a good deal. I didn't have to get a, a harness made. So, you know what I mean? And everything's already, already pinned out and everything. So all my boy has to do is just, uh, just extend the wire. So it's everything that's going in the car so far. This is gonna be the heart of the car right here. Kyle, what do you think about this build? Good, all right. I found this, uh, Blue valve cover, I don't know what color, it's like a Fiji blue color. Found it online for hundred bucks. I bought it because it's got two dashed tens on the back of it so that the engine's gonna be facing that way. So everything's gonna be from the back. Hey yo, what the? I'm gonna run my little catch can. I'll probably knock, I'll probably close this one off, run one, run a small catch can. Uh, let's go to the header. So, so I found a four two to one and a four to one. I'm trying to figure out which one is gonna benefit my swap more. So from my research and you know talking online, 
The four two to one, you get a lot more mid range. The four to one, you get more top end. What am I gonna be doing in that car? What, what is this Lotus gonna be doing most of the time? So, but either or, two good headers. I don't think I'm gonna lose out much if I go with one and not the other, so. Insane shaft, 500 horsepower, Lotus Elise axles. I'm running innovative mounts with the black bushings. They're softer than the red ones. I think there's 75 A's. Tranny, I don't have the tranny here. Hey yo, what the? I gotta take it to my boy Tim Gray's house. I bought it from my boy Augie. I had a bad second gear. We're gonna replace the second gear. It's a K20Z3 trans, 4.7 final drive. It's gonna, it's gonna have stock gears because I'm not pushing too much power, so I'm gonna keep the stock gear set. I'm not gonna be power shifting or nothing. So pretty much a stock K20Z3 trans with the LSD. It comes with LSD from the factory. So that's cool with me, you know what I mean? So I'll fix the second gear and I should be good to go. It's been my dream, dream car to do, a K20 Lotus. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned, uh, like, subscribe, comment what you want me to, um, what other type of videos you want me to make. And uh, yeah, man, guys, God bless, all right? <sighs>